there's this YouTube channel called Dr. Nowhere, and they have created a brand new analog horror series, and I know you guys really enjoy them. It's called The Boiled One Phenomenon. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So I'm not too sure what the boiled one phenomenon is, but Dr. Nowhere has a select amount of videos that we can check out today. They've been uploading for the last three months and uh, well, last video was uploaded six days ago. So I'm assuming there's going to be more coming soon. So we're going to try to keep up with this as much as possible. We're going to go ahead and get started with the first video that they ever uploaded, which is called TOE starving dot help TOE. So, like my grippers? What the heck do they want with my grippers? All right, well, this is only 27 seconds long. So, holy crap, dude. Let's check this out. 26 seconds of uh, just cursed footage. What the heck is this monster looking thing? This is really weird. It kind of looks like Siren Head, and but not the face. Uh-oh, the crack is getting bigger. I don't like this. Where the heck was this filmed? Yo, chill, chill. I really don't want this thing to get through to my screen. Just imagine that arm just comes out and starts choking me. That would be really scary. I don't hear it saying anything. Like, do you guys understand what it's saying? There's no closed captions either. Holy crap, 25 seconds in? It didn't break. I don't think it broke. But man, what the heck is this thing? You see like these pipes or what what is this like is this a mask i don't know what kind of unidentifiable alien this thing is this next video is called has this ever happened to you all the lights all the lights has this ever happened to you it's getting dark outside you are getting ready for bed grabbing a cold glass of water okay and now you're i usually don't like to drink water before i sleep because i have a really small bladder i don't know what's wrong with my bladder i've asked my doctor about this they told me nothing's wrong with me but i swear i have to pee like four or five times if i do drink a glass of water before i sleep Turn off all the lights in the house so no i don't drink that? water before or i sleep that? that sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the light oh yeah I definitely have felt that. I know you guys have felt that as well. When, you know, when you were young, you would turn off the lights and then you would have to run up the stairs or run down the hallway. Well, worry not. We have a brilliant solution. Uh, what the? What the heck is this? This is no solution. You lied to me. What the heck was that jump we scare? Have a brilliant solution. What is this thing? There's nothing that follows you after you turn off the, all the lights in the house. Stop lying to me. It's probably you. There You're trying to cover yourself. What the heck? There's nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. They're trying to cover up their tracks now. What? What? What was that all about? That happening just made it way less convincing to me. But this next video is called TOE Love Thumper. What is TOE? I still don't know. Maybe it'll answer the question for us. But where is this Hello? being filmed? What do you want? What do you want? It's that same monster again that tried to break out. But this time, it doesn't have human hands. You guys saw in the first video, right? The hands looked pretty human. It was going like this, trying to break through the glass. Now it has like thick hands. Please go away. Please go away. You telling it to go away is not going to make it go away. You got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think you should run. I think you should run. It's cracking through the glass. Oh, holy crap. That was so scary. That thing came rushing out. Watch. Oh, God. That is actually so scary. It made it out. It made out. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Stop staring at me. I don't like it. What the heck are you looking at? I'm not scared to protect myself. I, I wish I had a heart rate monitor on me right now. Cause oh shoot. 
The body appeared untouched. Like the body of the person who was recording? What the? This is so cursed. This is so cursed. This one is called TOE Making Dot Friends. Time to rise and shine. Good children are up bright and early. I feel very uneasy watching these videos. Good children play pretend. Who else played pretend growing up? My brother and I, we used to play pretend all the time. I would kind of like force him to play pretend with me, but we still played pretend. Good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. What? What was that? What was that? We got to slow it down real quick. We got to slow it down real quick. You thought I didn't catch that? it's that creature again is that the boiled one dude who is this thing like what is this thing apparently it's boiled that is really weird good children make friends why 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 did i just see a, a heart whose heart is that dominic 9999 for governmental personal viewing only why does it look like a kid's device the interface looks so childish yo man what's up it's been like forever okay seriously thought you were dead or something look we've been online friends for a while now yes <laughs> yo that just seems very suspicious seeing your friend respond like that so dominic 9999 is his best friend i think hey look i know it's none of my business but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately you've been going through something if so i'm here and you can talk to me man Okay. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax and uh, you don't have to say nothing, but do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? Please. No. Seriously? Are you good? Like I said, if I, I, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay. Yes. Talk face. Hey, no, no, seriously, I can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me friend. Seriously, are you all right, Dom? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please just be, be as quiet as possible, like whisper. Yes. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help, please. Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those. They were never fun. So Dominic's a little prankster, huh? Oh, we got an incoming video chat request. Accept. <gasps> See, I knew something was wrong. What the heck is that? None of it makes any sense. Is that Dom's heart? Everything inside was gone. Yo, is that Dom's heart that got ripped out? Because I'm pretty sure the person recording with the camcorder in the last few videos was Dom's perspective, right? And it broke through the window. And then next thing you know, the body was left untouched. But still, I don't know where that heart came from. Okay, this one's a pretty long one. This one is called the Boiled One Phenomenon. This is it. All following media has been curated with permission from personnel at Ephrata229. Great care has been taken to keep the identities of the persons involved anonymous as they request. Warning, this video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognito hazardous conditions including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest possible viewing experience. There's the warning, so watch at your own risk. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs. I, I don't know if I have earplugs, but uh, a pencil? Um, I, I have a have a pen if if that works I, I guess i have a pen that i can use and uh a sheet of paper um i have a a napkin <laughs> a standard christian bible open to uh psalms 91 10 sorry but i don't have that with me i i came very unprepared i got a pen i got a napkin no earplugs and no bible on me so uh we might be screwed if something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears Insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Write the following on the page. Wait, whoa, did you guys see that? Why was it red for a second? Hold on. I gotta pause it. What? What is that? I can't see this paper. Please leave. 
Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. I, I saw something. Yeah, see, I can't see this paper. I have no hand. I can hear the laughter of thousands. I can hear the feast. I can no, I cannot move, nor do I want to. What the heck? It's basically the opposite of what this is saying. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the fe feast. No evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. After these words are written, recite Psalms 91, 10 aloud. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray. It's all you can do. Whoa. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered anesthetics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. They appear to lead a normal life. Doesn't mean they do. The boiled one phenomenon. August 13th, 2003, Tree of Heaven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around, see it's, it, it's way too fast, what the heck? Around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. Okay, so it's like a children's tv show star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature the dangers of it how to appreciate it and most importantly most importantly what how to protect yourself from it all right unfortunately in early 2001 the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away okay then something odd happened on august 13 2003 the 13th episode of the series began a return, wait what? A rerun seemingly out of nowhere. Whoa. The following audio recorded and recording depicts the beginning, why is it so fast? Segments of the episode. Video footage taken from episodes 3, 6, 8, 10, and 13. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest. 3, 6, 8, and 13. 10 and 13. As it is deceptive, poison oak. We all know about it, and here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. And here on we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? Yeah, let's learn more about nature. Take a look around. Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine it's kind of crazy, like how much better like cameras have gotten over time. America in the 1700s. It took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast wait broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply dis disconcerting voice. Is it the boiled one? Red melted face. This face and its properties will be hereby referred to as Fen228. As Fen228 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed moderating Monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fen 228's face. Though most remembered Fen 228 speaking English, multiple non English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. It was like being live translated or something? That's kind of weird. The following clip is a restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alter alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum security, sa safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your- Oh, I don't have no earplugs, but I got the blue light glasses. Alright, I got blue- What- What are they saying? Retreat? What the heck are they saying? Yo, this is actually so cursed. Oh! Why the heck is it in my room? This is so cursed. 
This broadcast will here be hereby referred to as Broadcast 813. Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing the left, many severely distraught. I mean, I, I would be too if I saw this. Just randomly on TV. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia Fen228's television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Anxiety, paranoia, and... What else? Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Fen228's face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear its voice days after viewing. I mean, it is a very traumatic experience, so I can I can see why you would remember what that thing looks like. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. I did hear some sort of like train horn. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning, the beginning of a a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood oh that is creepy august 14th 2003 the great northeast blackout of 2003 after the anomalous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters the NERC was ordered by the Ephrata branch to have all the power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of broadcast 813. So basically, they were trying to block it out from everyone else from seeing it, basically. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. So it was like basically the whole east coast northeast creating the famous great northeast blackout of 2003 almost 50 million people were without power some not getting it back until days later honestly that would suck that would really suck no internet no electricity during the confusion caused by the outage all traces of broadcast 813 were collected by a frada branch and seemingly wiped from existence so they're trying to like just get rid of it entirely including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast internet posts, recording, and more. They're going all the way for this. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. Would you guys have believed that? Would you guys have believed that excuse if you actually saw this? But the damage had been done. People are like suffering from paranoia and stuff already. The aftermath. Let's see what happened to all the people that were affected by this. 12 days after broadcast 813, was blocked from the air. A historically massive influx of pseudocoma occurred through throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. That is crazy. These are the amount of cases maxed out. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a certain cerebromedulospinal <laughs> disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to the complete paralysis. Oh shoot, basically you're paralyzed of all volunteer muscles in the body because at the, like because you saw that thing, you became paralyzed in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. No horizontal, you can't look side to side, you can only see up and down. Oh shoot, this anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the US Department of Health and was put under governmental investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night of the broadcast 813 was aired. So they all saw this. The red, hold on, hold on. Did you guys just see that? I just saw something. I just saw something. We gotta, we gotta slow it down a little bit. Ready? What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta wait, we gotta wait. What was that? Is that the boiled one? Just staring at us? Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. What if you don't know, guys, what if you don't know Morse code? You can go up and down, but no left and right. Many of these interviews held unavailing results that often led to more questions, and many others held results that required archival or termination. Whoa. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Afrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one job Wait, one job Zamperini. Is that his name? Job Zamperini? An elderly victim in, of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak. 
What happened to Job? Ooh, poor Zamperini. Job Zamperini specifically requested his alias to be used in future records instead of his real name. Oh, which will remain classified. Zamperini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code. Oh, that makes him so much like better at communicating, putting him on the mark as potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. That's what I was about to say. Like a lot of people don't even know Morse code. Like heck, they barely even know their own language. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. What did they see? This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts Fen228 standing next to the small playhouse in Zamperini's backyard. Oh shoot! It wasn't Zamperini that took the photo. It was his grandson. The photo itself has been proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature. For most comfortable viewing experience, put blue light glasses or view from a distance of three feet or more. I got it. I can look as I can look as closely as possible because I got the blue light glasses on right now. I'm protected, guys. I'm very protected right now. Okay, that is actually really scary. So the playhouse I'm assuming is really small or, you know, smaller than usual. But this thing just looks giant. It looks like it's like seven, maybe eight, maybe nine or ten feet tall. No, maybe, maybe like eight feet tall. But that's enough to be scary. Like this thing looks crazy, especially the face. Are those spikes coming out of him? Zamperini claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. Why is there an upside down cross in his room? Zamperini? Spit it out, man. The following is a recovered previously archived recording of which Mr. Uh, Officer T. Gomez of the Afrata branch interviews Job Zamperini. Oh, we're about to get some footage from the interview. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. Give it to God and go to sleep. Poor guy. He's just laying there. You're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition? You can't move or anything now unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned translated sequence ask okay, first and uh, foremost did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body let's see what he says there was a face when did you begin seeing this face after the tv i think after the broadcast oh after i saw it on tv it you never left me seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th. This guy ended up being really useful because he can actually communicate. Do you think this is something your brain has created? No, it is in the window. Horribly burnt. Not of, not of Lord Christ. still don't see Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? He's like, it's not a hallucination. I'm sorry to hear I hear that. screaming of many voices. Are these screams constant? Basically, they curse your brain. At night before I sleep. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I just saw something. I just saw something. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Hold on. I'm going to put it on 0.5 speed. Okay, let's see what he says. He says, at night before I sleep, I hear trumpets too. There was something for a quick second. Oh, what was that? What the heck was that? Thank but Lord Christ is with me. Oh my gosh. I wish they would translate it for us. You shedding light on this is helping more than you know. What? What just happened? Get, wait, I can see you. Oh my gosh. There it is. Holy crap. So this is what Job Zamperini has been seeing in the window. That is so creepy. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth. A fetal fanfare. Um... <laughs> I can understand it now. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. Oh! The blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast of birth. Together, melted by Ew. Be still. What? Warning. If you can see the screen, it means it is not safe to continue viewing. The program will find. Oh, wait. Will end shortly. Uh oh. Protocol Brevita 228 has been initiated. 
Is it over for me? Perform the procedures given to you during the intro introduction portion of this video immediately. I screwed up. I gotta, I gotta write it down on my napkin. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. No evil shall befall you, nor, uh, nor uh, shall any plague come near your dwelling. No, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Okay, this has been such a creepy analog horror series, but we have one more video left that was uploaded six days ago. This is called The Boy and the Bath. Your body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday. You are in, in no condition to sleep like this. A shower will make you better. Is it like one in the morning right now? Why is there a baby's crib in front of me? I think I can take off my blue light glasses off now. Are we going to the, the bathroom to shower? Ugh! Why does this house look like that? But it wasn't my fault. Uh, is everything all right? I hear, I hear water. What is this? Is this another boiled creature? Why are you taking showers in my house? Ew. Ew. That is pretty gross. This is Slenderman. It never existed to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm shutting the door. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. You never did exist to me. Did I just go back to bed or something? <laughs> I literally walked back to bed. <laughs> I know you heard me. No. It was all your fault. I, I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing. Oh, I was kind of expecting like a jump scare or something. <laughs> guys, you guys let me know what you think of the boiled one phenomenon. I'm definitely going to be keeping up with this series. You guys let me know. Would you guys want to see more of this series? But shout out to Dr. Nowhere for making these crazy analog horror videos. If you guys want me to react to more analog horror series in the future as well, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I guess uh, I'm going to stay away from my TV from now on. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace. <laughs>